Welcome to the My Money and Me video series, part of the Securing My Financial Future initiative. In this video titled My Financial Goals and Spending Plan Part 1, you'll learn how to set and categorize your financial goals, develop a plan for meeting them, monitor your plan, and track your progress toward meeting your goals. Okay, I know I need to do this, but the thought of spending hours on worksheets and spreadsheets and crunching numbers that's where I get stuck, and I end up doing nothing. Well, let's get you unstuck. This whole undertaking breaks down into three uncomplicated parts. And best yet, you can accomplish each part in a matter of minutes. One, setting your goals will only take about 30 minutes to do. Two, developing your spending plan, another 30 minutes. Three, and to track your progress in meeting your goals, only about 50 minutes a month. That's time well spent and represents only a fraction of the time you used to spend worrying about your finances month after month after month. So let's get started. Most of our financial goals involve either saving for future things, reducing our debt, or a combination of the two. Other goals may include rethinking what we spend our money on. This means taking an objective look at where our money goes. Could it be in your better interest to redirect some of the money you spend on frivolous or wasteful things into those that are more productive, meaningful, or beneficial? It's your call. Here's an example of each of the three types of financial goals. I want to save $100 a month. I want to pay off my credit card in 18 months. I want to take $50 of what I spend each month on junk food and join health club. Okay. This is simple, and I get it, but what if I don't have goals in all three categories? You don't have to. For example, if you spend everything you make and you don't rack up debt, then you may only have a savings goal or a spending redirection goal. Whether your goal is saving, reducing debt, redirecting your spending, or a combination of goals, you'll use three worksheets in the following sequence. You'll use the My Financial Goals worksheet to organize and itemize your goals in three categories, saving, reducing debt, and redirecting spending. The Spending Plan Monitor helps you implement and monitor the spending plan you develop to meet your financial goals on the My Financial Goals worksheet. Use the Goal Tracker worksheet to track your monthly progress towards meeting your goals. Whether your goal is saving, reducing debt, or a combination of the two, Enter the amount in the planned column and the actual amount in the actual column at month end. If your financial goals also include redirecting some of your spending away from some things and into others, you do the same thing. Space is provided to track your goals for a 12-month period. You can also use Goal Tracker to check off any goals you meet during the 12-month period. Let's look at how to use the three worksheets if your goal is saving. On the My Financial Goals worksheet, enter the monthly amount you plan to save. Make the amount realistic. You can always increase it. Refer to your Expense Tracker worksheet to help you set a monthly amount you can stick with. What am I looking for on my Expense Tracker worksheet? Where you can cut spending and how much you can cut. Good places to start looking are in the discretionary categories like food, clothing, personal care, and entertainment. Next, state why the goal is important to you. This reinforces your commitment to your savings goal. One or two key phrases are all you need. Then state how you're going to meet your goal. Now, as you know, to save a penny means you have to keep yourself from spending a penny. Referring to your expense tracker worksheet, identify where you plan to cut spending and the amount you plan to cut. So to meet my monthly saving goal of $100, I plan to cut what I spend on Thursday night out by $50 a month, revise my cable and internet package to save $15 a month, and reduce my spending on specialty grocery items by $35 a month. That's your spending plan for saving. It's that easy. Spending plans, also known as budgets, don't have to be complicated. You're right. It's easier than I thought. But writing it out is one thing doing it is another. The Spending Plan Monitor Worksheet will help you do it and stick with it. The Spending Plan Monitor Worksheet is laid out like your Expense Tracker Worksheet in Video 2, 
but there's a difference in how they're used. The expense tracker is an as-is reality check worksheet. You use it to see where your money is going and in what amounts over a two-month period. It helps show where problems are in your spending pattern. The Spending Plan Monitor Worksheet helps you correct the problems in your spending pattern that showed up in your expense tracker and helps you implement the spending plan you set in your My Financial Goals Worksheet. The two columns are titled Planned and Actual instead of Month 1 and Month 2 on the Expense Tracker Worksheet. So on your Spending Plan Monitor, enter the month. Next, enter the amount you plan to spend on each item within each category in the planned column. Use your expense tracker as a reference. So using my expense tracker as a reference, I'll start by re-entering in both the planned and actual columns the items where spending will stay the same, like my rent and car payment, right? Right! And for items and categories in which I am revising my monthly spending amounts, enter those amounts in the planned column. Right? Right. For example, if your expense tracker shows that you were spending $200 a month on groceries and you'd like to reduce that by $35, you enter $165 in the planned column. And at the end of the month, you enter the actual amount in the actual column. Another way to increase your savings is to increase your income. Are there ways you can increase your income? Now on the Goal Tracker Worksheet, track your monthly progress by entering the amount you plan to save for the month, which is on your My Financial Goals Worksheet, in the Planned column, and the amount you actually saved in the Actual column. Wait a minute. Do you really expect me to fill out a new Spending Plan Monitor Worksheet every month? Only if it's helpful. Regardless of what your financial goals are, once you get the hang of your new spending plan, you may only need to track your monthly progress in the Goal Tracker section. Use your Goal Tracker worksheet to check off any goals you meet during the 12-month period. This concludes Part 1 of My Financial Goals and Spending Plan. To become more informed and empowered, stay connected, stay engaged. Watch the other videos in the My Money and Me series. You can find those and much more on the Michigan Department of Insurance and Financial Services website at www.michigan.gov slash diffs, that's D-I-F-S, or call 877-999-6442.